Karen Larson here with some of our lead stories from Two Works for You. Suing the city of Tulsa for damages caused by the 1921 race massacre. The lawsuit filed in state court names the city, state of Oklahoma, National Guard, even the local Chamber of Commerce. Lawyers filed the lawsuit on behalf of descendants of victims and several civil rights groups. They're wanting what they call abatement for damages caused by the massacre. A similar lawsuit filed 17 years ago lost in federal court because the statute of limitations had run out. This time, the attorneys are using the new nuisance statute hoping to get the case heard on a local level. The governor and state leaders updating the COVID situation in Oklahoma. State School Superintendent Joy Hoffmeister says about 75 percent of public schools have opened, offering in-person learning. The Department of Education says at least 110 districts with in-person learning have seen positive COVID cases in school. The governor also mentioned rapid testing machines are going to hundreds of nursing homes in the Sooner State to better track the cases. This as state health officials release the latest numbers, 666 new New coronavirus cases, bringing the total number of infections here in the state since the pandemic began to more than 59,000. Also, nine more deaths, raising our state's death toll to 809 people lost to this virus. Now, a new report does show the number of COVID-19 cases continues to rise among children. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, more than 70,000 new pediatric cases were reported from August 13th to the 27th. That's an increase of 17% over just two weeks. Well, are you ready for summer to be over? There are some signs of it in our 10 day forecast. Look at those temperatures warming up to the mid 80s for Thursday and Friday through warming up till Monday, but then things change dramatically next week. That is your latest weather and news headlines. Two works for you with updates throughout the day.